Diary mapping in Edgeforia is very easy. You need to first make sure that you're logged into Edgeforia and you're within the Forethought application. From there, if you're going to be diary mapping on your own, then you're going to do it within your My Lesson Planner. And when you click on that, you need to make sure that all your courses over here to the right are showing up. If you do not have the correct courses, then you need to go back through the click sheet um, on setting up your planner or changing your planner. But once you have all of your classes set up here, um, you're going to diary map at least once a week for all of your courses. If you want to see the items that are in your consensus map, you can click up here in the top sentence and over here on the right all of your standards that are listed within your consensus map for that course will be listed on the right. Um, so from there you can just double click and it will add them over. If you want to get rid of them, you can right click and go to remove from lesson. Um, you also can click on strategies down here at the bottom if you want to add any of this into your diary map as well. The most important part to your diary map is this section down here. Um, you need to first make sure that you put in all the vocabulary that you have covered with the students that week. Um, you also need to list your resources and activities that you did, what assessments, formative and summative, any modifications that you've done for any students. Now please keep in mind that this still falls within open records. So if you list a student by name and a parent request open records on their child, um, anything that you've written in here tagged with that student by name um, can, can be pulled up for that parent. So just keep that in mind. But any modification that you've done for students, extended time on assignments, um, a written copy of notes, anything like that, make sure that you put in your modifications. Then the last part is going to be your, refl your reflection. And this needs to be done, um, of course, after the lesson has been completed. But it's your reflection on how the activities and the whole lesson went. So that way, next year, if you want to look back on this lesson or this unit, you're able to see your notes to yourself. So this is my, might be where you would add um, that an assignment was not long enough and so you had a lot of extra time at the end so next year you know to add something else into it. Or if the lesson um, went over and you need to do more time or if the class really preferred one activity over another, the reflection is where you're going to put all the notes to your future self is what you're going to put there on reflections. And then lastly, you're going to have attachments here. So if you would like to attach something, um, a rubric, maybe a lesson plan or something like that so that you'll have access to it next year, that would be the place to do that as well. So that's it on diary mapping. Um, the only last thing that I do want to tell you is if you are not diary mapping alone and you're going to be doing it with your content group, then rather than going to my lesson planner, you're going to go down here to your team planner to put all the pertinent information in um, and then you'll do your reflections on your personal planner. And that is it for diary mapping. If you need any help or have any questions, be sure to holler at me.